Welcome to Collaboration Dynamics, where we find out how working together makes sense for real people. With Judy Reese, virtual collaboration consultant, best selling author, and master of metaphor. Hello, and welcome to the Collaboration Dynamics podcast. I'm Judy Reese, and with me today is Adam Eason. Hello, Adam. Hello, it's lovely to be here. Great to have you. So uh, tell us a bit about who you are and the kind of collaborations you get up to. So um, since the late 1990s, uh, I have been a, a hypnosis professional of one type or another. So that is primarily as a hypnotherapist. And then uh, towards the, the, the late 1990s and early 2000s, I, I ran and set up my own hypnotherapy training college and have written books. However, my, my most, my specific interest has been self hypnosis, um, the relationship, uh, between, uh, hypnosis and oneself and, and the ability to apply it to oneself is, is, is really, is really fascinating. And one of the things I considered raising today, you know, my own PhD study and research has been on that subject. Um, however, primarily this, the, the collaboration, I suppose, that's, that's central to, to my own work is that of individual, uh, two individuals and one of which is, is a hypnotist or a hypnotherapist and the other one is uh, a recipient of, of hypnosis. And I choose those particular words very carefully because I think there's a lot of misconception and myth and as soon as you started talking to me ab about the podcast and, and you mentioned the word collaboration, I think collaboration isn't always something that people associate with hypnosis. I think hypnosis, especially hetero hypnosis, where one person is, is guiding another, uh, a lot of people think it's almost done in a mechanical fashion. I am doing something to you and you respond in a sort of cause effect way, where actually it's much more collaborative in nature um, um, and certainly, you, you know, the, the more years I've worked in this field, the more apparent that has become. Mm -hmm. So the collaboration between the hypnotist or hypnotherapist and the recipient. Yeah. Hmm. So when that's a collaboration and when you're collaborating in that way, in, in that kind of collaboration at your best, that's like what? That's like a, a sharing. That's like a, a, a movement together, a movement together in a particular direction, I think. Hmm. So what kind of movement is that movement together? Well, I think it's a, a movement in terms of a sort of progressive it's it's a movement of of intention mm -hmm. um, um but but i think it's also a movement of of you know that that, that i am agreeing or, or rather we are both agreeing to create a sort of support in a particular direction mm -hmm. and and a sense of a sense of you know choosing that, that, that there's something that supersedes where we are at Mm. So support in a particular direction, a sense of choosing that supersedes where we're at, mm. and a movement together. When is a movement together? So the movement together, I think, is represented, um, or rather, the movement together is something that you know, we're, we're both active agents in, I suppose, um, the therapist role, the, 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 the hypnotist role that, 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 that we adopt sort of gets, it, it provides a context and a framework, yet that, that is probably less important. That framework and that context ends up being less important than the actual relationship. So, when I talk about the moving together, I suppose it's the moving together of a relationship that is a relationship that is 
that is helping to create the change. Mm. And that's a relationship like what? I think the relationship is... Mm. It's a relationship... I'm trying to think of something, of, of, of what, what I actually mean by that. Um, because it's it's quite unlike it's quite unlike other things. I, I realise I'm supposed to be telling you what it, it what, what it actually is like, but I'm finding it easier to find my reference by mm -hmm. explaining explaining what it's not like. Mm -hmm. um, um, and that is, you know, I, I'm really wanting to to move it away from being any kind of dictatorial dicta, dictatorial type of relationship, mm -hmm. and in fact being a very a very harmonious relationship where people are moving moving together and i suppose there's there's a real a real kind of circular movement where people are moving together but there's also a real sense of going in the a progressive direction direction of the goal the the, the desired outcome mm -hmm is also where the relationship is going so there's a circular movement and there's also a progressive direction I, I, yeah and i realize that the two sound sound counterintuitive um, um or rather the, the two sound at odds with each other but i suppose there's a real sort of there's a real flowing a very liquid sense to that sort of circular movement which then um almost perhaps more more tubular than circular mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, 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 but moving, moving in a very progressive direction mm -hmm. forwards together. I suppose um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking very much like fluid, liquid. In a yeah, in a, in a slow, gentle fashion. Mm -hmm. So tubular rather than circular. Like yeah. Fluid or liquid. In in your mind's eye, where? Whereabouts is that tubular? Um, I'm right there, right, right there in front of me. I'm mm -hmm. sort of, I'm doing one of those things that my kids do when they're on the telephone. They're pointing to things and and thinking that I can see. see them. <laughs> um, There's I'm, a reason I don't turn on the video on these <laughs> yeah, calls. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm 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 there in front of in front of my face, in front of my more in front of my forehead going out in that direction in front of your forehead going out in that direction yeah in f f forwards out forwards mm -hmm. um where, where where i'm not i'm not meeting as far as it, it being a relation it representing a relationship is concerned i'm not meeting the other person there they they they're within it mm -hmm. so they're within it whereabouts within it um um, so, sort of through and around, almost like like the the ripple in the raspberry ripple ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they are that they are they are a thread, uh, an inherent and integrated part of that. Mm. So, like the ripple in the raspberry ripple, they're an integrated thread in that tubular, going yeah. out in that forwards direction. Yeah. Is there anything else about the ripple like that? Um, yeah, it's not. It's definitely not not red or raspberry. Um, <laughs> despite despite the use of that, it's it's much it's much more blue. Mm -hmm. um, blue and sort of light blue, watery, it's like really representative. Uh, well, rather, um, yeah, uh, uh, a water like blue. Mm -hmm. So a water like blue. Light mm. blue. Yeah. Like that. And a ripple. Yeah. And it it's sort of sort of thread of thread of that that, that just sort of coils within mm -hmm. the tube the tubular as it's going out. Mm -hmm. Going forward within that relationship. Mm. So that light blue, watery ripple, like a thread, coils within the tubular as it's going out. And is there anything else about that? Well, it's thick and strong, but also slow mm -hmm. and, and very considered in its movement forwards. 
um, um, elements of it almost feel and seem like laser beam. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's 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 how I'm imagining it, how how I'm thinking of it right now. So, what kind of element? So, whereabouts are the elements that feel like laser beam? Well, it's almost like the whole thing is doing an impression of a laser beam, mm -hmm. but it's not. So it's not actually a laser beam. It's like it's it's behaving a bit like it with its with its kind of straight, straight direction forward. Mm -hmm. So it's like a laser beam, and it's got that straight direction forward, mm. and it's slow with that ripple coiling round. Yeah, <laughs> which I know makes me sound crazy. I I don't think so. It seems perfectly logical to me. <laughs> <laughs> so when the other person is like that ripple, the blue light blue, yeah. coiling round that kind of ripple. Whereabouts are you in relation to the tubular? I'm, 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 I'm in that. I'm, I'm there as well within mm -hmm. it. Um, um, it's, it's, there's very much. It's very much like we've become. You know, we, we are one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I am not separate from the other individual within it, even though they're represented by a sort of coil, a thread, almost like a vein within it, um, um, that we are, we're, we're part of the same thing mm -hmm. going through. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm there within it and part of it as well. Mm -hmm. So in the tubular, is there one thread, two threads or, or a different number? Um, um, I think, I think even even though it's there, you know, it's it, it's a single one. Mm -hmm. It's a single one, but it's you know that that they are. Even though I call it a thread, it doesn't mean that it's thinner than the rest of of any other component part. It's probably half thread and color of that individual, and half half of me. Mm -hmm. So it's half the thread and color of their of them, and half of you, and coiled together. Yeah. And straight in that direction. Yeah. Like it's doing an impression of a laser beam. Yeah. And it's light blue and watery. Yeah, I think watery, watery in terms of actual sort of, um, of actual water as opposed to watery as in mm -hmm. thin. You know, I, yeah. I realize that some people use the, the, the term watery as, as a sort of can potentially be vapid or something mm -hmm. like that, but it's not meant as that. It's meant as in actual water, you know, actual like, water. like a current of, yeah, strong, strong water. Mm -hmm. And when it's like that, then what happens? Hmm. When it's like that, it just seems to it just seems to to move very comfortably onwards and and much like when there are there are there are sort of bumps and things because of or, or there are, are obstacles for example because of the very nature of it, it just sort of seems to seems to ride over that very softly without without being impeded with regards to it. Mm. So it, it, it's moving comfortably, slowly, and and very thoroughly, progressively onwards. And what what starts to happen is that 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 perhaps there are almost like like bumps, like rocks or small boulders that it just sort of floats, f flows over very comfortably, continuing on in that direction. Mm -hmm. It just flows over like that. Mm. And then what happens? I think it's it, there's very much a continuum. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, nothing specific that happens mm -hmm. it's um, um um it it continues and and it and it, and it's a force mm -hmm. and it's a force and, then, and therefore it goes over the bumps and all of that 
Yeah, yeah, it, it has a force that. Um, but I think what, what's going over the bumps, there's, there's, there's a smoothness mm-hmm. that, that 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 finds easy to to transcend and travel over those things without without too much too much concern or too much attention. Um, like it's just that's just part of things, mm-hmm. and 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 merrily continues, mm. it, and it feels very it feels very happy. Mm. So when it's like that, that kind of tubular, what needs to happen for that kind of tubular to happen? Hmm. So I think there needs to be What needs to happen for that to happen? I think um, it needs to be it needs to be accepted. You mm-hmm. know, it needs to it needs to be allowed to happen. It needs to be allowed to happen. I, I, mm-hmm. um, um, not not given permission by by anybody else, but but allowed by oneself to occur. Mm-hmm. Like like that's what that's what does it. Like. Like an openness, uh, mm-hmm. an opening, opening of the gate of the mind for want of something. Like that. That's just, yeah. I think I, th- I think that's what I'm, where I'm coming from with that. Mm-hmm. Whereabouts is the gate of the mind in relation to that tubular? I'm, I'm right in front of it. Right, right in front of it. So the yeah. tubular's right in front of your forehead. So whereabouts is the yeah. gate of, of the mind yeah. in relation to your forehead? Yeah, yeah. The the forehead. The forehead. Mm. And is there anything else about the gate of the mind when it's there? No, no, nothing else. And that just needs to be open. Yeah, it's it's um, um rather than rather than there being ga- actual gates, it's more like a, a sort of wider light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a wider light that's reaching sort of more broadly than that that tubular tube of relationship Mm -hmm. so the wider light needs to reach more broadly than the tubular relationship yeah and is there anything else about that opening of the gate of the mind no i don't think so Mm -hmm. and that opening there in the forehead is that opening in the gate of the mind of the hypnotherapist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what? No, it, it's both. It's 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 absolutely. Um, it's it's mutual. Mm-hmm. Mutual. Yeah. It, it, it's like a meeting. It's like like a meeting of the same place that has opened to create that. Mm. So it's a meeting, of the same yeah. place that's opened to create that tubular. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, I'm, I suppose what what I'm saying, what I'm, yeah, where I'm coming from with that a, a little bit is is that you know through through whatever kind of information and and so that the relationship is such that in order for for hypnosis or that relationship, which I think is you know really intimate, the relationship, there needs to be more than just just one person kind of being almost having an authoritative part and i think this this openness is where they've they've met and understood that mm-hmm. and then the way the 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 hypnosis and the relationship begins to develop is this long kind of tubular progressive fluid thing that 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 is working very much together mm-hmm. um um, and and the two the two are working very closely together. But uh, I suppose rather than saying working closely together, they they just they just are they just they just are intimately and naturally intertwined. Mm-hmm. They're they're not separate. There's a there's a flow of something that's occurring there. Mm-hmm. And what needs to happen for that mutual opening? of the gates of the mind well i think there needs to be 
are understanding. Um, so I think that that needs to be understood and and correctly educated, and there needs to be expectation that you know there, there needs to be a degree of expectation. There needs to be a level of of understanding, but also there then needs to be you know an agreement to 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 engage mm -hmm. uh, and uh, an agreement that yes I you know I will engage in this process I will active I will be an active agent not just within the process but also within what's what's you know what what I need to do in order for this to be effective mm -hmm. so an agreement to engage I'll be an active agent yeah, i.e., you know, not not passive, not just kind of, not just, you know, neither side is just passively letting the other be dominant mm -hmm. or or dominate. Hmm. And what needs to happen for that kind of expectation, that kind of understanding, that kind of agreement? Um, well, I think there needs to be... a a good level of, of, of explanation. There needs to be a good um, a good a good sharing of, of and both having the same yeah, both having the same kind of expectation and understanding that the expectation dovetails mm -hmm. and that both both know that. Mm -hmm. And what needs to happen for that to happen? Um well I think I think that ex that that in very basic terms needs to be explained and shared. Mm -hmm. um, it needs to be explained and shared. Yeah, yeah, and and pointed out and and highlighted and and that there is a, a degree of education that occurs to to create that. Mm -hmm. And that presumably starts with the hypnotist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. Hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so, what needs to happen for that explanation to happen? Um, well, the the hypnotist needs to needs needs to know it for themselves first and foremost. The 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 recipient needs to be open to to hearing that. And needs to to hear that and understand that there needs to be a good quality assured way of that being communicated mm -hmm. um, um you know so that it's not resisted um yeah um I'd say that they're probably yeah um, um I'd say that that a lot of the agreement is likely to be in place and be inherently in place based upon the fact that they've, you know, that th they're there in that situation anyhow. So mm -hmm. th th therefore, I think that, um, yeah, that's that's probably it. You know, they need to be open to the to, to the explanation. The explanation needs to be delivered in such a way that it's well received and and is likely to be agreed upon, um, and, and and given in such a way that is. That is agreeable and easy to be, not necessarily easy, but but is un understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is there anything else that you want to say? Or anything we've missed about how this collaboration works? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that's I think that's fascinating. Hmm. Thank you for sharing. Then I I found it fascinating. I'm I'm very curious. Uh, this is obviously a topic on which you 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 talk and you you you've thought a lot about it. Yeah. How much of what we've just explored did you already know? Um. The the stuff where I was. I'd say I'd say it's probably about it's probably about fifty fifty mm -hmm. because um a lot of the way in which I'm representing it metaphorically I've not ever considered in any shape or form whatsoever mm -hmm. that was that was completely new completely new and I think what I was 
you know, I, in fact, I was, I was, you know, probably attempting to create my own understanding of it there and then, mm -hmm. rather than rather than just just going going with it fully. Um, so, so that the, 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 the sort of metaphoric component, I, I'd never considered that in the slightest, and I, and I thought that was fascinating. And what difference does it make? Well, I think. Um, the difference that it makes, as far as I'm concerned, is that it's it it's it's a deeper level of understanding with regards to something that's fundamentally or, or, or something that is fundamental to my work. It's, it's a deeper level of understanding of it. So, um, I think understanding is makes makes a, a huge amount of difference. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, really, no, thank really interesting. Yeah, thank you. So, thank you so much for sharing. It's been absolutely fascinating to explore all of this stuff with you. Mm. Um, if people want to find out more about you, the stuff you do, um, who should contact you and where can they find you? So, my personal website is adam com. just adam eason with a hyphen in the middle dot com. And my training college is aecollegeofhypnosis.uk just dot uk at the end not dot co dot uk um and we teach hypnosis hypnotherapy um cognitive behavioral hypnotherapy and so on lovely yeah th that was lovely <laughs> it feels so peaceful it's just yeah it does really it does. relaxed yeah, I mean, kind of anybody state. Yeah, anybody that knows me or my work in any way knows that, that this is about the the most lovely you'll ever encounter me being. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm far more manic and erratic than this, usually. You know, very lovely indeed. When you're collaborating at your best, that's how you are. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Magic. Agree. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Judy. You've been listening to Collaboration Dynamics with Judy Reese. Ask your questions and leave your comments at judyreese.co.uk.